So this is my makeup box. I kind of took this over from my mom. She was a beauty therapist, still is, but she doesn't practice anymore. She also did makeup artistry. So she had this train case. So I now have the train case. So I'm just gonna take you through what's inside here. It is black and it is from Inglot. So it comes with the two latches and then you open it up like this. So in the first compartment, I kind of have like more face stuff and more of like my everyday kind of stuff in a sense. So starting here, I have the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Foundation. I think this is a great foundation. It helps with acne and everything. So if you are struggling with like acne, it is a great foundation. If you wanna use something, it has like very like, it has a lot of skincare properties in it. it is on the high end range. I also have a MAC Studio Fix foundation. I then have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I then have this primer, which is the Baby Skin Primer from Maybelline. I then got have this like illuminator. I'm not sure what this brand is, but it's an illuminator. I got this in Portugal, so I'm not entirely sure if you can get it in South Africa, but I then have this CC cream from MAC. In this little compartment, I have my eyelash curler from MAC. I then have my mascara. This mascara is a Clinique mascara. I really like Clinique mascaras because they are hypoallergenic. Onto this side, this side I have this blush. It is from Clarence. It is a cream blush, which is really, really nice. I then have this e.l.f. contour palette that my friend Tinashe got me. So it's this like nice little contour palette and I really, really love the shades in here. I especially love like the highlighting shade in this palette. I then have this Maybelline Face Studio Strobing Stick and this is like my favorite highlighter. Um, I use this in a lot of my videos as well. I also have the Benefit Sunbeam Highlighter. This is like a nail polish kind of highlighter. So it kind of acts like a nail polish with the like little brush and everything. Here I have all like my MAC face stuff. So I have the MAC blush. It is called the Pinch of Peach Blush blush powder. I then have the MAC highlighter. It is soft and gentle. I then have this MAC bronzer. It is in the shade Refined Golden. In this compartment, I have two things from Benefit. So I have the Hoola bronzer. It does not have any shimmer or shine in it. And then I have this Dandelion blusher and it's got a little bit of shimmer in it. So that is everything in the top compartment. Then when you open up my train case, this is what you see. So over here I have my MAC Black Track Eyeliner Gel. So it's like a little gel, it's like a dip gel. So it's like this, it comes in this little container and all. I got this black eyeliner. My mom got this in Dubai and it is this black eyeliner. It is the best eyeliner ever. I then have the Body Shop Happy Go Lash, which is a mascara. I then have a little angled brush that I just bought from Clix. I then have two of the same MAC eyeliners. They're also in black. They are the engraved eyeliners and you can see that I use these a lot. I then have this Kiko Milano um, liquid eyeliner and it's one of those ones with the felt tip. I then have this Wet n Wild brown eyeliner. I've been looking for a brown eyeliner that isn't expensive but I think I am just going to invest in an expensive one because this does not work that well. Like it rubs off so easily so yeah. Okay, I then have a Estee Lauder black eyeliner. It is the soft smudge stick in black. I also have this Estee Lauder um, eyeliner in brown and I love this eyeliner. I love brown eyeliner, especially the dark browns. I think it's so much nicer than like black. Black has its place, but I feel like this dark brown really just does the job. So definitely gonna be investing in another one of these. I have a purple eyeliner and it is from the brand Black Up Paris and I really really love their eyeliners, they're really really nice. Moving on to this side, this is like my eyebrow stuff. 
have these two eyebrow pencils so it comes with like the pencil with this one's broken but yeah comes with the pencil on the other end and a spoolie on this end i then have this which is the raincoat mascara from yardley it is the clear brow gel that i like to use i then have this maybelline tattoo brow i find this is like great if you want to do like instagram brows or like a very full glam makeup but i do not think that this works great for just an everyday wear like it is very harsh and i'm not a person who likes very harsh eyebrows on an everyday basis so there's that then i have this cabral from benefit it is a dip brow gel and just a little packaging thing comes with a little angled brush to draw your brows in and yeah then in this compartment I have travel containers of my um, anti-blemish solution things. So this is just something that I'll keep in either my bag or my car. I currently have one in my car and it's just like an, a good on the go like little container. So I just have the spares here. I then have a whole bunch of glitters. So I have this glitter from Essence and I bought this last year just for Ultra. So it's just a good like festival glitter so that's kind of what i use it for i then have these three little tubs from kylie's um one of kylie's kits i'm not entirely sure what the kit was but yeah so i have this one it came with like this like pinky kind of really like rose gold shimmer shade and i love it a similar shade but this one's slightly darker and then it came with the silver shade. On this side, I have Rimmel lip glosses. I love Rimmel lip glosses because they stay on the whole day. They are literally like 16 hours stay. This one is in the shade Make Your Move. And I think Make Your Move is probably my favorite shade. It's like the perfect nude on me. Literally the perfect nude. I really like it. It's on the more pinky side. So this is probably my favorite out of the whole lot that I own. The next one I have is called Skinny Dipping. And this is more of a lighter nude, which is also really, really nice, more chic. I then have this deep red, which is called Play With Fire. I then have a more like French red, which is called Kiss Me You Fool. So that one's also really nice. And then the last one I have is called Day To Pink. Then I have two lip liners from MAC. So I have the red lip liner, which is in the shade Cherry. And then I have this MAC nude lip liner. And I think this is the perfect nude lip liner. I would never go for anything else. It is called Subculture. Onto this side, I have all my MAC lipsticks here. One from Clinique and one from Kiko, but I'm going to talk you through all the MAC lipsticks I own. So the first one I have is Myth, and this is like a more lighter shade. I then have Age, Sex and Location, and this is more of a deeper nude brown. I then have this one, which is Velvet Teddy, and Velvet Teddy is honestly my favorite nude. I then have Viva Glam, which is this shade. It's also a nude, but it's like in between age, sex, and location and the Velvet Teddy. I then have this one, which is like a Nicki Minaj collab with MAC, and it's like this really nice, vibrant pinky color. I then have this Kiko nude well it's a, like a very dark brown lipstick and i think this is perfect for like full time so i'm sorry i don't know what the color of this lipstick is but i really like it it's a really nice brownie color i then have retro matte ruby woo which is this very nice vibrant french girl red this one is called matte diva which is more of a like warmer more deeper red which i really really like i then have this candy yum yum one and it is a very vibrant hot pink i bought this a long time ago but i'm not gonna say i regret it because this pink does suit me so <laughs> i am gonna keep it and i still would wear it like if i was going like out or to a festival or something that's probably when i'd wear it in this last one is from clinique and it is this 
nice French gold red as well. It's a little bit more orange, which I also really like. I really like this kind of red. The shade, it is called Flamenco. The next two are liquid matte lipsticks, and I am obsessed with these, especially this one. This one is probably my favorite nude, like liquid matte. I uh, MAC has some really nice nudes. This one is called Lady Be Good, so I love this. I really, really love this one. I then have this purple one, and yes, you're probably thinking, wow, bright purple, but purple really does suit me as well. So as you can see, I also have an eyeliner that's purple. And this is in the shade Recollection. I really, really love this purple as well. Moving on to this little like section here, I just have some lip glosses. So I have this one from MAC. It is the Cream Sheen Glass, and it is in the shade the night is young. I then have this liquid um, color stain, moisture stain from Revlon. This is great for like a very natural lip just to give your lips some color. It is in the shade Shanghai Sizzle. Then I have this Estee Lauder lip gloss and it is in the shade Garnet Desire. It is such a beautiful shimmery pink, I adore it. Then moving on to this section. So these are all the Kylie lip glosses. So there's the velvets and there's the matte. And this came in that kit that I was telling you about earlier. But this one is from Estee Lauder, this lip gloss specifically, the rest are all Kylie. Impulsive Coral Shimmer. Most of these are like in similar, like a similar range of color. It also came with the purple, which I'm happy about. This one is in the shade June Bug. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I tore off the names of these at the bottom. So I am sorry about that. So I actually can't talk you through these. These are the velvets and I really, really love the velvets. So these two shimmers here, although they look the same, aren't the same. This one is glitz and this one is glamour. And I'm really sorry about the others. <laughs> then moving into like the big bottom container here. First thing I have is this little like makeup pouch thing and I just keep all the brushes that I use in here. I then have some Vaseline because I do like to put Vaseline on my eyebrows sometimes and on my eyelashes. It's just more of a natural kind of thing. I can also use it as a highlighter. I might do a video where I literally show you how to do our entire like makeup tutorial just using Vaseline like yeah. I then have this Estee Lauder loose powder, light medium. I then have two beauty blenders from Real Techniques. I then have this sharpener, which is like a double-sided sharpener. However, I like to use the color um, grip side because of all the colored pencils I own. I find this way it doesn't actually tear out the um, lead from the pencil. Then over here in the back, these are my highlighting palettes. These two are from the same Kylie kit that I got all of this from. This one is Skinny Dip and it comes with these two amazing shades. This one is Sun Kissed and this one is Glow Up. This one is called The Wet Set and it comes with these four amazing shades. So it comes with this one which is called Privacy Please, then this next one is called Unbothered and then this one is called Do Not Disturb and that one is called Getaway. I'm pretty sure everyone's seen this constantly. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. So it comes with this lighter shade, which is called Sunburst. Then it comes with this more deeper, darker shade, which is really nice in the summer. And it's the Golden Bronze. It then has this pinkier shade, which is bubbly. And then it has this one called Dripping in Gold. Dripping in Gold is my favorite, my absolute favorite. Then in this little compartment thing here, I have all my eyeshadow palettes. So I'm gonna just walk you through this. This I got as like a tester from Estee Lauder. It is like got these like purpley shimmery shades. So you can do a really nice purple look with them. And as you can tell, I do like purple. Purple stands out really nicely on me. It is the Pure Color Five Color Eyeshadow Palette. It is Surreal Skies. That is what it's called. I then have this MAC eyeshadow palette. It is brown luxe. 
This is my first eyeshadow palette ever and I still have it. I still love it. I then have this bronze goddess from Estee Lauder as well. It was my mom's and then it became mine. I then have this palette which is from Kylie's set. It is called Take Me On Vacation and it comes with all these amazing shades. They're really, really nice. Then lastly is like my pride and joy, which is the Urban Decay Naked Palettes. Urban Decay makes the best eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to constantly say that. <laughs> because they do. First naked palette that they ever came out with is honestly, I bought it, I loved it when I saw it. And this is the shades in this palette. It's more of like a neutral, nudey kind of like color palette. The next one that I bought, which was when they came out with it as well, is the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. And these are really lovely warm pinks. So these are all warm colors. My most recent investment was the Urban Decay Naked Honey Palette. So these are more golden, more fall kind of shades in comparison to the pinky shades. I am obsessed. If you want anything from this video, I probably get the foundation or any of the naked palettes actually.